Today I'm going to show you how to create Canva templates and sell them on Etsy or any other digital platform. This is a lucrative business. Personally, I've sold Canva templates before, not really on Etsy, but on a separate platform, which I'm going to share with you later on in this video. And the kind of templates that you can sell are things like business cards, thank you cards, blog posts, ebook, social media posts, and many, many more. Okay. So if you're excited about this video, like and subscribe and let's get started. Now this method will require the paid version of Canva, okay? So make sure you get the paid version. It's actually very affordable. It's less than $10 a month. So what you can do, you can just pay for it once and then create as many templates as you can. And then you just download them and then you sell them. So what I'm going to be designing is an ebook template, okay? So I'll just come over here to custom size. So 500 by 812, okay? And make sure it's PX, okay? So PX is for pixels and then click on create new design. All right, so this template is going to be specifically for the cover, okay, for the ebook cover. But you can also go ahead and, you know, create a more of a horizontal uh, template, which will allow you to uh, customize the pages of the ebook, okay. But in this case, I'll just be designing the cover. And then now I'll just grab some text. I'll go over, click on text, okay, and I will use any of these templates. Now, since you have the pro plan, you can go ahead and use any of these. Okay, so I can just go with this one here as an example. And then let me ungroup this first. Then I would have this at the top over here. Okay, so I'd like to create like a fitness. Okay, maybe a fitness uh, ebook. So I can say my, my fitness program or something like that. I'll just make this smaller. Okay, and I can remove this now. Just remove or maybe I drag this down here. Okay, I expand this like this. Now I want to get some images, okay? It will be more vibrant if you have some images. So I can go over here to elements. I'll just search uh, fitness. Okay, I will just go with this one here. All right, and I can expand this. You know, I just want to fill the whole, uh, to fill the whole page just like this. Okay, now I'll drag this down over here. Okay, and then I can change the color. I click on this A. Okay, I'll give it maybe white. Okay. And I can also add some effects just to make it pop. I go over here to effects. I go to lift or actually shadow. Okay. I give it a darker shadow so that that you know it shows well. Okay. And then down here I can increase the intensity or transparency. Okay, like this. All right. And I can make this bigger. Or another way that you can do it, you can just you know remove this or just push this up a little bit. And the background here, you give it dark. Okay, you give it black, you bring this back down here. Okay, and then now you reduce the transparency so that you know this can uh, show more visibly or rather be more visible. All right, and then down here, I can also change this. I can say uh, fitness tips and tricks. I'll just use that idea which is already there. So, fitness tips and tricks. Okay, I can go ahead and also change this uh, like that. Okay, now you can go ahead and decorate it, add some, you know, some elements here, just, just, just to make it more vibrant. You can come back over here to uh, elements, okay? Maybe you can look for arrows, arrows or lines. Let's go with the lines, okay? So here you can look for, you know, things like graphics. You can scroll over here, okay? You, have, you can just click on see all and see the kind of, you know, lines that you like. I like this one here, so I can select that and bring it maybe up over here, okay? You can also go ahead and change that color. Okay, maybe if you want it white. Okay, you can go ahead and look for more colors over here or more designs. Okay, so something like this. You can have this over here. Okay, so you can also change that to white. Maybe just any other visible color, color that will, uh, you know, that's going to pop. All right, so I also want to add more, I want to add more text over here. I'll come back over here. Okay, I'll just, I'll just use a normal text this time. Or maybe just something different. Uh, let me go with this heading. Okay. So I'll drag this down over here. So it'll be my fitness program with uh, maybe Helen. Okay. So something like that. All right. So now once you're done with this, what you want to do is to convert this into a link. Okay. You want to give it a link. So in order to do that, you're going to go over here to share and you're going to click on template link. All right. And you're going to click on create template link. All right, and what you're going to get is this link. So this will be the link to edit this template right here. Okay, so you can click on copy. And now what you're going to do next is to convert this into a JPEG file, okay, or a JPG file, okay? So in order to do that, you're just going to click again over here on share. 
okay click on download and now just save it as a jpg okay so I'll select that and click on download all right so now that we've downloaded our template uh we've converted all right we've got the link and now we've converted it to a jpeg file or a jpeg image we are now going to upload it back here to canva okay so now i'm going to go back to uploads okay click on uploads over here and we're going to upload that file okay or rather that template so select that and click on open and there we have our uploaded template all right so now what we're going to do is to create a file a pdf file that will be delivered to the customer okay this is what we're going to do next so in order to do that we're going to go back home again over here click on home all right and here we're just going to use any uh, template you can go with actually any template or any size i'm just going to go with the 1080 by 1920 i'll click on customize size okay so here i'll just type 1080 by 1920 and click on create design all right so we're going to go to our uploads okay and we're going to select our template again so you can make this a little bit bigger okay you don't really want it to fit because what we're going to do we're going to create a kind of mock-up okay we're going to create a mock-up where this is going to create some kind of like a shadow effect okay so the different mock-ups that you can use here on canva on your left hand side you're going to go to apps all right and here you're going to search mock-ups and select mock-ups here and they have all kinds of mockups. They have, you know, uh, videos, smartphones, print apparel, computers, uh, frames. They have so many more here. And I can go ahead and test, uh, test them out. So I'm going to be using print. I'll just select all because they tend to have more uh, templates here and uh, print. So you can just go ahead and browse and see the kind of template that you would like to use. Okay, I think I'm going to go with this one here. All right, so as you can see, we have it here. So I'll just stretch this out just like this okay now i'll just make this fill the whole uh, template like this okay and then now we want as you can see the sides are white so you also want to change that so in order to do that you're going to click on fill and click on apply changes all right so as you can see that's much better okay and the different mockups as you can see over here so if you don't use this one here you can just you know create another page so in order to do that you can just click on duplicate page okay as you can see you'll have another one here so you can go ahead and change this one here and you can go back to your mockups you can use print or if you want to use any other mockup you can go ahead and do so so i'm going to go with this one here now for this one here i'll need to swap the image so i'll just delete this first okay i'll click on create page all right and then i'll go back to the same mockup okay i'll look for it i'll click on this it's actually a book mock-up and then i'll go back to my images or rather my uploads i'll look for my uh where is it again i'll look for my template i'll select that okay now i'll just move it around so that it uploads it into the ebook okay so now i can just stretch this up like this okay and then we'll have something like that so this is also another template that they can also go ahead and edit if you want to change the background cover you can go ahead and do that you can give it maybe a similar color and just uh, just select brown okay and there you go so these are two different mockups that they can actually use okay so i'll just i think i'll just go with the first one here i'll just delete this one here i will leave this one here all right so now i want to enter a text which will uh, uh, inform them that they can actually edit this pdf document okay so i'll just go back over here click on text okay i'll just use heading again I'll drag this down over here. I'll bring this, I'll pull this up over here. Okay. So I'll just say here, edit. Okay, edit template. Okay, so now I'll double click on this and click on this link over here. And then I'll just paste the, the link that we got earlier. Okay, the shareable link. Okay, I'll just click on done and click on done again so now when they see this they're going to be able to edit once they click on this they'll be able to edit this ebook okay all right so another thing uh, that you want to do you want to let them know that this is actually an, a template that they can edit so again you can grab some text over here I'll, again i'll just go with heading okay so i'll just bring this up over here actually let me go with a different template okay text template uh, i think i'll just look for something else that i've used here before let me go with this i'll just bring this up over here and this i'll just say ebook template okay ebook template okay now i'll just stretch this up like this okay i bring this right in the middle just make sure it fits okay so something like that then you can also go ahead and change this color i'll give it another color okay maybe that color all right okay so now this is the one that we are going to download okay you just go over here click on share 
click on download all right make sure it's a pdf okay be sure that this is a pdf document so let's uh, so select that click on download so this is one that they're going to be able to edit okay this is the document that we're going to actually upload on etsy or our online platform or even on our website okay so there we go so once it has been uploaded or downloaded rather we are now going to upload this on our etsy or our website okay so you can go over to etsy.com if you don't have an account just create one it's easy and if you go over here to etsy as you can see you can get different ideas from here that people have created as you can see these are different kinds of ideas different these are different ebooks that people have created here on etsy and people are selling them okay you can see their prices six dollars ten dollars five dollars three dollars six dollars some are even selling for 278 dollars okay i guess it just depends on the complexity of the ebook that you have created okay so once you've signed up you're going to go over to your marketplace and you're going to just click on get started over here right here you're going to select your language but it's already english by default and then under country there are very few selected countries there are very few rather uh, uh, african countries even africa uh, i think they only have south africa yes they only have south africa here now if you're not in any of these listings here I'm going to show you a different platform where you can actually sell products okay so you're just going to leave it at united states select the dollar you just leave it at us dollar click on save and continue here you're going to give it a name you're going to give your marketplace or your store a name okay once you have done that click on save and continue here they're going to ask you to tell them about your product or category what type of item it is now ours is going to be a digital file so click uh, select digital files here you're going to say that it's templates okay so just say uh, templates here select templates and then down here it's going to ask you who made it so of course it's you so what is it okay is it a finished product is it a supply or tool making things it's actually a finished product okay when was it made you're going to select the year so between 2020 to 2024 that's recent how is this digital content created created by me okay once you're done select save and continue all right and then here they're going to ask you to enter keywords that buyers would uh, would use to search for this item so let's start with ebook okay templates it's another keyword all right and then down here you have photos and videos so this is where you're going to upload that pdf document okay so select upload up to 10 photos and we're going to select my fitness program okay the initial one that we created so click on open all right now you can also go ahead and adjust it if you want to adjust it you can just click on edit over here and click on crop okay and this will allow you to remove the white sections okay if you want to reduce that you can go ahead and reduce or remove the white sections which will cut that out and you can also go ahead and select dimensions there are different dimensions you can go ahead and select square you can select this four by three there is on the vertical one there is this and there is this okay so i think i'll just leave it i won't edit i'll just leave it like that and then down over here you can adjust your thumbnail but i think i'll just leave it like this i'll just go ahead and here we have the digital file so this is where we're going to upload the pdf where they can actually edit now i click on add file all right now we didn't actually name it so make sure you name it this is actually the one so i'll just select that and open that okay and then down over here you will have your description so it basically asks you what makes your item special this is what buyers are going to see the first few lines okay so i can go ahead and say something like ebook template for fitness programs okay and then down over here you can go ahead and add personalization but i'll just leave that and then down here we have price and inventory so you want to have a very competitive price especially if you're new if it's your first time you don't want something that's overboard so maybe something that's average like five dollars uh, five dollars to ten dollars that will be great okay so that will just be for one quantity all right scroll down over here further here you have tags and attributes uh, i'll just ignore this these are not really necessary for now and then here are your core details so we already selected this earlier so we can just go ahead category again we already select this earlier so once everything is done you just scroll down further and uh, select save and continue and there we go so great job on your first listing and on our right hand side over here as you can see we have our editable ebook okay now you can go ahead and customize this further by clicking on this pencil so the minimum items that you can sell here as templates again like i told you earlier you can sell ebook templates wedding invitation templates business card templates blogs social media posts 
and post them here on Etsy. Now, like I said earlier, if you can't find uh, your country here listed on Etsy to be able to sell, there are different platforms. One is known as PayHip. So I have a video on PayHip where I show you how you can list such products. So check out this video over here. This is actually a video that goes into detail on how you can actually sell and upload digital products such as this and sell them on your own website. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.